Research from 2015 shows that the world spent 22% of their online time on social networks, this is suggesting the popularity of social media platforms. It is speculated that the increase in social media's popularity is due to the widespread daily use of smartphones. The roots of social media stretch far deeper than you might imagine. Although it seems like a new trend, sites like Facebook are the natural outcome of many centuries of social media development. It took us almost 15 hours to make this video for you, please like and subscribe, it will take you only 2 seconds. The development of social media started off with simple platforms. GeoCities was one of the earliest social networking services, launched in November 1994, followed by Classmates.com in December 1995 and SixDegrees.com in May 1997. Unlike instant messaging clients or chat clients, Six Degrees was the first online business that was created for real people, using their real names. It enables users to upload a profile and make friends with other users. In 1999, the first blogging sites became popular, creating a social media sensation that's still popular today. As such, according to CBS News, Six Degrees is widely considered to be the very first social networking site, as it included profiles, friends lists, and school affiliations that could be used by registered users. After the invention of blogging, social media began to explode in popularity. Sites like MySpace and LinkedIn gained prominence in the early 2000s, and sites like Photobucket and Flickr facilitated online photo sharing. YouTube came out in 2005, creating an entirely new way for people to communicate and share with each other across great distances. By 2006, Facebook and Twitter both became available to users throughout the world. These sites remain some of the most popular social networks on the Internet. Other sites like Tumblr, Spotify, Foursquare, and Pinterest began popping up to fill specific social networking niches. Some of the most popular social media websites, with over 100 million registered users, include Facebook, TikTok, WeChat, Instagram, QZone, Weibo, Twitter, Tumblr, Baidu Tibor, and LinkedIn. Depending on interpretation, other popular platforms that are sometimes referred to as social media services include YouTube, QQ, Quora, Telegram, WhatsApp, Line, Snapchat, Pinterest, Viber, Reddit, Discord, VK, Microsoft Teams, and more. Social media use sometimes involves negative interactions between users. Angry or emotional conversations can lead to real-world interactions outside of the Internet, which can get users into dangerous situations. Some users have experienced threats of violence online and have feared these threats manifesting themselves offline. According to cyberbullying statistics from the iSafe Foundation, over half of adolescents and teens have been bullied online, and about the same number have engaged in cyberbullying. Both the bully and the victim are negatively affected. Because of algorithms on social media which filter and display news content which are likely to match their users' political preferences, a potential impact of receiving news from social media includes an increase in political polarization due to selective exposure. Political polarization refers to when an individual's stance on a topic is more likely to be strictly defined by their identification with a specific political party or ideology than on other factors. Selective exposure occurs when an individual favors information that supports their beliefs and avoids information that conflicts with their beliefs. A study by Hayat and Samuel Azrin conducted during the 2016 U.S. presidential election observed an effect of selective exposure among 27,811 Twitter users following the content of cable news shows. The Twitter users observed in the study were found to have little interaction with users and content whose beliefs were different from their own possibly heightening polarization effects. Today, there is a tremendous variety of social networking sites, and many of them can be linked to allow cross-posting. This creates an environment where users can reach the maximum number of people without sacrificing the intimacy of person-to-person -person communication. We can only speculate about what the future of social networking may look in the next decade or even 100 years from now but it seems clear that it will exist in some form for as long as humans are alive.
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.